chair. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. And I wanted to say, like, let's play ball. I already did. Oh, you, uh, you did? I didn't even catch it. Come on. As well. Ah. Well, I, the last selectmen's meeting, we came to somebody that was sitting behind us over there. Because I was like, <laughs> That's awesome. I always want to do it. So, all right. So we've got a couple things. The first thing I want to do is I want to welcome our newest member, Carissa. Hey. Sorry, Carissa. It should have said Carissa Morris because I know her last name is Morris and I completely spaced it and I wrote Carissa Marie because that's what's on our Facebook. <laughs> so, Carissa, you want to tell us a briefing about you? Okay, we all know you, but the world doesn't. Come um, on. <laughs> You're on the spot. I am a mom of a teenager and 11 year old. Um, I'm a CNA that works private duty. And I know I love, I love doing stuff with the kids. So that's why I joined. Thank you. We're glad to have you. She's also part of one of the homeschooling groups. So she comes with another aspect to bring to us. I do homeschool. So just because all of us, we typically send our kids to the schools where she's a homeschooler, she'll be able to bring things from that group that different desires and wants and, and go from there. So one of the things that I wanted to kind of do today at the meeting is kind of not necessarily formally give us all like positions per se, but more so give us what our, our idea for um, what we prefer to be kind of in charge of, to kind of give everybody a set role. Obviously it's not inclusive of just that role. Everybody comes together, we all make plans, we all organize, we all come up with ideas together. We do every functions and that together, but it's more so what is your territory per se? Um, like kind of a generalized idea with Crystal. Crystal does not care to be at the snack shack. She is more, she loves the fundraising aspect and she loves making the shirts. So all of the vinyl work so that we're able to provide it for the kids and to also sell. Um, so that's kind of where I left her. So she's more behind the scenes, but she will help as well if we do functions where she's able to. So I kind of wanted to feel everybody out and kind of feel what everybody would like to see themselves kind of strive more so to. And I know hope you'll probably see that I put you with the snack shack in that. Because we're sorry, we know it. You are <laughs> you are the snack shack goddess. I was gonna say the queen, but it almost well, comes around. And I'm not saying for you to work in the snack shack all the time, obviously, but more so inventory and organization in the shack. Um, and for all of the safetyness and whatnot, and for training people when they go through and they decide to volunteer and the communication with those volunteers. Absolutely. Other than that, that is not obviously your only your only niche. <laughs> so don't feel it is. Um, I know John and TJ are really big with the sports, with the coaching, with the hands-on with the kids, and with um, the groundwork. <laughs> so I'm kind of- Takes an all. <laughs> and I have something else that I have to talk to you about later on in the meeting too. Okay. Sorry, I told you I'm scatterbrained. Mm -hmm. I'm fine. So. Lori, do you have anything in particular you would like to kind of be focused on? Or Nothing just a little bit particular. of particular. Um, just kind of overseeing some of the things that previous board members um, wanted with the grounds and um, expanding the, um, the grounds and whatnot. Oh, bathrooms and that type of stuff. And, but pretty much here just to help where needed and help and you know I don't need any specific titles just I don't know like I wasn't in the past I just need freedom but to be able to help <laughs> yeah um. Um, I know Carol we're doing with Carol is um she's focusing on any senior programs that we want to offer and she's going to take and run with the swim program. Um, mm -hmm. I told her I told her what the budget was. I actually had a conversation with her. Um, she's unable to be here tonight. Um, I had a conversation with her and she was thinking that we weren't necessarily going to need her and I told her we absolutely do need her. 
because she brings a lot to the table as well. Absolutely. The swim program was her baby. She's the one that initiated it. She's the one that ran with it last year. So all in all, I wanted her to continue to run with it. She knows the ins and outs of it. I told her what the budget was. So she's going to do that. Um, she had asked if the fall was okay and I told her whatever she kind of thought would be the best. It worked well last year, so to continue with it. So she's there, she's in the back. And the fall did, did work well. Yeah. I know everybody probably thinks swim lessons in the summer, but probably everybody's busy and you mm. don't. Every, so yeah, yeah. Yeah. Everybody's busy in the summer and in the fall, it keeps some of those people active with going swimming. And a lot of times you have more downtime because it's not like you can go outside and do something in negative 10 degrees. Right. And we ran out of our budget last year yeah. after the third session. So yeah. Um, yeah. I know there were other people that continued that uh, uh, will that continued last year, even though we ran out and paid on their own. So mm -hmm. we've, I think we so have but the more money is great, yeah. and and we have it set this year. So we've got four thousand in the budget. So that would equate for a hundred people throughout the fall. She's here. Mm -hmm. That would equate for a hundred people for the year. Um, and then um, it would we would cover forty dollars and the resident would cover $40 themselves. So it kind of splits it in half instead of them paying 80. Last year it was 40 and 35, but the Y went up $5. Hello. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Carissa, do you have some place that you would like to see yourself kind of molded into more? Just, it gives us an idea of where to, I guess, use, use you. <laughs> I don't know anywhere. Like I told you, I'll go improv, I'll be there for, oversight and stuff and that's right I talked with Carissa um, where I have a high school kid that's doing improv um, he has an 18 year old that is doing improv with him so that's the adult however not sure if you can always rely on them when they're 18 so I had asked Carissa especially where she's going to be there with Jordan anyways so Carissa is going to be kind of one of the assistants that will be there to oversee if something needs done she'll be the, the adult in charge of improv and you're pretty much help anyway. Perfect. And then, Jen. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I haven't seen you in forever. She's scared now. It's been a while. <laughs> Don't be scared. So. I have a little bit of energy. Just a little bit. But. <laughs> um, do you have, so we're kind of going over where people really see themselves with what, it's kind of like jobs, but not jobs kind of more like what, what your niche is that you'd like to? I think documentation and um, I'd like to be an assistant coach for TJ with soccer and basketball. Perfect. I talked to TJ a little bit about coming up with um, just like a standard set of roles like you've done here, mm -hmm. but capturing things like whether or not we need a treasurer to manage funds or provide like monthly accounting mm -hmm. results to selectmen so things that maybe we could discuss as a group of mm. that would be if you want to look into that more on yeah. how it could, it could break down better yeah i'm okay. absolutely open to that and it would be great um because some of the documentation stuff isn't necessarily my forte okay say. yeah that would be cool. yeah and i think so. to that end communication would mm -hmm. be helpful if we can get someone to focus yep. mm -hmm. on communications and just getting the word out in a better form. Mm -hmm. um, I was just going to ask you, does the REC have a website or is it just a Facebook page? So right now we just have a Facebook page. We've asked about, so there was a, um, I thought there was a, a page coming off of the town's website. Hasn't been updated in quite some time, yeah, but the town's right. website is also getting changed over. Yes, we are doing some work. So, so I was just wondering, I wonder if that would be the time to... We're waiting, yeah, we were waiting to kind of hear back, waiting for that to happen, and then once that happens, TJ okay. is kind of our computer guru, so I'd we were going to... Mm -hmm. Just waiting on the word? Yeah, yeah, we were going to set him up so he can run awesome. with a, a website and have it link over. Yeah. Yeah. Do we know what that the works. rationale is in waiting? I mean, we're converting our business site over, but we continue to update. It's all going to get migrated at the same time, presumably onto a new platform, so... 
rather I get it in there. Just do some sort of link when we get ours done that goes to what you right. Want. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know a lot put, about computers. But even even if it's just the calendar, it's fine. I, I However, you want to do it. I'm I mean, is that something you can do? Yeah, okay. just link it off the main website. Okay. Yep, okay. Absolutely. Okay. <clears throat> that way you can get going on what you guys want. Um, I could do it over a weekend. Yep. Because yeah. I, yeah, I, I think that's our biggest downfall right now is getting the word out in a concise mm -hmm. right. manner mm -hmm. yeah. in one place so you're not flipping through Facebook. And mm -hmm. I'm new to Facebook and I'm the dinosaur in the group. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm, I'm fine with that. I've spent my whole life yeah. avoiding it. But I think if we can just have, you know, even if it's just the calendar of events, if we can kind of go through some of these things and get a calendar going. Because that would presents, happen. you know, it presents the group better. So I, um, I went to um, Milton Town Beach today and the rec department was there and like they did summer stuff and stuff, but I noticed that they have a monthly newsletter. Did you see that? And it's from the rec and it has when like the selectmen meet and when the rec meet and what are they doing, what they have, what they need to do. Is this, is this sent out on email? It's they, sent on email and they, they give it to like the parents of the rec kids. Okay. And it's like just like it's just like everything's a, in one and that's the beauty yeah. of the web page. Yeah, yeah. so like yeah. you can hand it out to the kids, you know, and then we could send it at the end of the school year the school. too to go home if we yeah. have our summer's plans. Right. When we get a calendar together, yeah, you know, we can come up with what we're gonna do this year and get that yeah, out there. Yeah, it was nice because it yeah. laid like what's going on with the town, what's going on with the rec, yeah. you know, what are the activities, what do we need donated, you know. I think that's a really big I need undertaking so we want to just focus on what the rec group is doing oh, yeah. as opposed to what the town is doing. Oh, yeah. like, click here for more information yeah. with what's going on yeah. in the town so that oh, yeah. we're not two separate entities. Oh, yeah, cause I the, think we need to dovetail. Right. Yeah, because Milton has a huge <laughs> huge rec department so yeah. 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 Milton and Sanford and that are the big yeah. ones around we gotta, we gotta work on kind no, of no, regrouping no, yeah, and bringing I back. Yeah, look into a Wakefield's rec too for yeah. ideas because they have a really nice rec. Yeah. You know, they've worked on it for yes. years. I mean, yeah. So, you know, just for ideas and stuff down yeah. the road. You know, yeah. It's kind of great one. Um, mm -hmm. I, I've been talking with the um, old Kenny Bunk rec director. Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah, She's given me a lot of nice. a lot of good pointers as well. Let me talk with the other two selectmen about the website. That would be awesome. Wednesday. Just, yeah. you know, I, mean, I don't think there's a problem, but. Yeah, even if we can just get a link in there now, yep. yeah. so that it all migrates to the new. Form. Otherwise, as soon as it's done, it's going to yeah. need to be then revised. Yeah. So right. it's, you're not saving any money by you know excluding this information now. Right. And but it would be. It's a good idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So and I don't see why anybody would not want it. But I just. Thank you. Okay. Absolutely. All right. So the next part is um, coming up activities. So our coming up activities, we've got the food drive that um, Crystal actually took the lead on. She was in communication with the food pantry with what their needs are. Um, I kind of find oftentimes the food, food pantry is almost overlooked here and there. So I thought that was a great initiation. Um, she reached out to the Girl Scouts as well, right? Mm -hmm. um, and they're, we're going to work together. If anybody can be there to help, fantastic. If you can't, we understand it's also Labor Day weekend. Um, so it's going to be September 4th. We're going to set up over at, by the old gym from 9 to 1. Um, we are going to sell some of the rec attire as well, um, as well, and then have all of the donations come in. Oh, and we're going to have, um, I did talk with Jason Cole, who is the owner of Kona Ice. He will be here for it as well. Nice. He has You've to be been trying to get him in. Yes. Yes. I love Cole. I love Jason. So he... Um, has to be in Dover for two. So I'm not sure if he's gonna plan to come from like nine to noon or what exactly the time situation will be. Um, but he is absolutely amazing. What so is he? Kona Ice. The ice they're ice. the shaved ice truck. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Oh, and their flavors, because they have the little, little truck, I guess, that's attached to the back end. So you get to put your own flavors in it. And they're so good. <laughs> Sorry. They had them at Shapley Days, okay? <laughs> <laughs> So we've got that coming up. We have the nutritional education coming up on, I think the date that we were looking at was Saturday, September 17th. Um, so we are just waiting for her. She had asked me some questions and I'm waiting for her to get back to me again. I'll probably reach out for her again. We were looking at doing, I think three groups so that we had the littles um, and then the kids like teenagers and then adults to kind of pinpoint 
especially in this day and age with the expensive um, grocery bills and everything kind of ways to make it a little bit easier but make sure that we're getting the proper nutrition that our bodies need and also reading labels so if anybody's interested in something like that it will be a free event um, she's actually from the southern Maine health center um five two one oh let's go five two one oh let's go no i think we have a backup date on that also it was the 10th was it the 10th yeah backup day is september 10th just in case um come. we were going to do the car show on the 11th that is not going to happen because it was going to coincide with the tractor pulls and with our insurance policy the insurance requires us to cover the entire fairgrounds and that means we would be covering the tractor pull event as well mm. and that's not something we want to entice not something we want to get into because so many things can go wrong right. um, so if we want to relook at doing a track a um, car show with a vendors or something like that we can um, but we'll have to do it on a day that they're not doing tractor pulls um, end of summer bash and barbecue anybody have because kind of the thought was evening like late afternoon evening some games um, have a big barbecue we were thinking of doing maybe so much per plate with whatever we wanted to do kind of specify what we wanted to offer anybody have I wasn't sure if we wanted to do it on Labor Day weekend if we wanted to do the weekend before I know Labor Day weekend's a crazy thing, so that's I why just, I was like I think it's, it's the timing I think it's the timing that, that takes <laughs> if you notice I was looking at you <laughs> I, like, I don't know what you want to do. Well, I thought we might be better off doing, I mean, I love the idea and I'm on board with the idea, mm -hmm. um, but I don't necessarily want to do like we did for baseball, just flying by the seat of our pants and everyone's no. running off in a gazillion directions. And if it was not for Lori and Daniel Norwood, yes. we'd still be there trying to get hamburgers. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't know who was coming. We didn't know who was staying. There yeah, were a lot right. of unknowns. We just, we weren't prepared. No, and we blasted through a lot so, of food that and day. We, we did, it, and I think it went pretty much without a hitch. Yep. But again, that was a lot. You just came like at the right time. Yeah, the right you, time. You, you and Dan. Dan. You because and we'd Daniel still be, be we'd yeah, still and, be there. We, Dan we always up. did that at the end of the season. I didn't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we pulled it together, yeah. you know, Our during, the you know, to the week, more people in. you know. Typically, the problem is we need to find a place to do it. We've done it right after and we don't the have last game, so the there's no gaps in between. There. When there's gaps in between, you're not going to get the so people we can to always bring a grill. So that's, you get some people to come back. That's right. You have the, the and kids. This thing in your mind draw in. tell all the other parents that were there. Right. You know, the crowds with the kids with the kids. Kind of yeah, and I think it's the older kids need, you know, the younger kids are so excited they want to show up, they understand yeah, that they're a member Bruce of the team, but I think the older well, kids, Bruce I think the some of that. I mean, it would be both of them, but maybe Bruce could organize this car show. <laughs> so when you're having a barbecue, maybe Greg would let you come and, I, I don't know. No, I'm, I'm just, trying to think. You know, well, I mean, we can also. That's got lots of rural. Like Apple Valley has theirs this weekend. Yep. We can go down and have work. Yep, Jane, I'm going to talk to her about something else. I don't want to have yep. two different so, conversations. Sorry. Not, not to be rude, awesome. but I don't mind. We have businesses in this town that, you know, are, yeah. you know that will promote too, which is good. Sorry. <laughs> not good enough, I don't know. <laughs> Would it be better to do like the end of summer bash? Like, mid-September when if we could get like a flyer to go home with kids from the first yeah. week of school we could, and then yeah. we could actually have time for people to sign up so we know how many to Labor Day the beginning my point precisely yeah. because we just we can't keep doing things at the you know the seat of our pants we're not going to be mm -hmm. successful we want these to mm -hmm. be successful we want people to see that we're having fun doing this instead of stressing and obsessing about it um, I also thought that October might be better and we can kind of call it you know, instead of an end of summer bash, just do like an October fest and get oh, some, yeah, October. some yeah. fall. The weather's a yeah. little better. It's a yeah. little cooler. Mm -hmm. yep. It's blazing hot, you know, all day that at that nice, field. Actually. So I think we might just get more people. Right. Um, and if we can get more people signed up, I mean, well, I'm we willing can. to cook. Okay. I'm willing to cook, you know, the day before and do smoking or something. Right, but yeah. I don't want to no, find no, us in a situation where it's the two of us. Right. doing it right no 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 I no it wouldn't well be. the problem with having people like when we did the events for the cornhole 
and when we did the first um, fun day, whatever that we field did, day. field day, we had tons of people saying going, tons, and nobody showed up. That's the problem with the events. Like for the corn home, we had like what thirty people. I, I there was a, quite a few people that actually said they were going. They were to going. personally messaged and all of this. They didn't. Nobody showed up. We so had right, but there needs to be sign so, up, and you need to. Oh yeah. yeah. And again, another point for the town is to have money where they can, you know, a link where they can make the payments online. Right. So, so now we know we have yeah. five people coming or we have 30 people coming. Okay. And that was a weekend where there were no board members. I think were two of you able to be there. So in order for these things to be successful, in my humble opinion, but experienced opinion, you want John to come because he's going to bring 10 of his friends. You want me to come because I'm going to bring my seven friends. We want Lori to come because she's lived here forever and she's going to bring her 10 friends. And, then, and, and, that's what, and that's what makes, that's what generates the interest and that's what generates the revenue. So we right. just need to... We just can't count on the and people sign... Like well, they said, sign up first. So the, the problem with signing up first is we haven't gotten it approved. Unless I have sign-up sheets here, mm -hmm. they have to come here. And I'm having some headache and some pushback with some people that can't make it in here to do it, which is mm -hmm. um, kind of goes back. I had started talking with Tom the last time I met with Tom um, before everybody swapped over yeah. that I really want to be able to find a way to push and be able to do online payments. So when kids want to sign up for sports, mm -hmm. yep. they can come, they can do a meet and greet at the field and then they can go right online or they can pay right then and there so that, you know, they can, we can swipe a card or they can give cash and we can hand write them out a receipt or however we have to do it and then provide everything back to the town hall so that they have it, so that they're more interacting with us. Capturing that. Yeah, yeah we're caching that one-on-one -on -one right, versus right. Yeah. here's your paper, When it, you know, can you reach out to me? And then they're one, wondering what's going on when it's a week before and that's when you're reaching out because now everything's been set. So if we can do on the website, you know, being able to have a, make an online payment mm -hmm. that goes directly into our account because um, we, we will. We'll have the one account that all of our deposits are put in anyways. Mm -hmm. um, and I and meant to bring it, but as of right now, I think we have $774 put into our account so far this. So that's just in July. So for all of the cheerleading, um, anything that we've put back in from the Snack Shack, um, the $20 donation that we had, all of that, and the shirt that we've sold so far, we've got a revenue of $774 which is huge, I would think, because I think we needed, I can't remember if we needed 24 or 2800 for the year. I forgot to bring that paper with me. So it's, it's already, we're not even a month out, yeah. and we're already hitting that. Yeah, yeah, and we've done pretty good. I, I think that, you know, do you have an audio? Sign-ups at the field for the kids would be fantastic. Oh, I would oh, yeah. grab, you know, we're looking to expand outside of, you know, the parents. We want to get people who have an interest in something else to come and mm -hmm. support some of these fundraisers. Mm -hmm. And if we can have, you know, a link on the website for something like that, well, that's, that would be, be helpful. Yeah, and, and that was a problem just with doing sports, never mind all this extra stuff that you want to do. I mean, this has been a concern of parents, even though we're mm -hmm. open on Thursday, you know, the town hall is open on Thursday nights and whatnot. People right. just, you've got some people that they work. don't think of it. People, the, the, the way that the world goes today is you get on your phone and you click and you pay and you're done. Right. People don't want to come to the town hall to fill out that paperwork to pay that money and then leave. Right. They just they just don't. It ha we've got to find a way. I mean, this has been an ongoing issue for mm -hmm. as long as I've been on the record. Yeah. Um, the, they don't think of it. No. And, you know, they and don't. it's really, it's easy to set up. It's just yeah. right. it comes with a cost. You know, it might be 5 cents a transaction if it's a And right. that's, you that's know, fine. Right. Yeah. I don't I mean, five, we you know, a small percentage. We do um, some stuff online, correct? Through the town hall. Only the car registration. The registration. Yeah. So That's all if the someone pay, pays by credit card, there's a, yeah. in a two percent fee or something like the that. They, 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 they cover not us. If we can incorporate that two percent fee into, or just take out that two percent fee from our yes, bottom something. line, and I mean, we we've got to do something in order. I think to, it would yeah. offset that, and I think yeah, yeah. we and make more money as a result. Definitely, yeah, because yeah. nobody wants to come, you right. know, and right. Well, either that, or you have the people that work in healthcare, for example, and yeah. they might be working 
Tuesday through Saturday, right. eight hour shifts, but their eight hour shifts might turn into 10, 12, 14 hour right, shifts because we know how healthcare is. Right. So it's, right. you have, and we have a lot of healthcare workers in town. Mm -hmm. So, um, so online payments would be great. Mm -hmm. um, being able to pay at the snack shack would be great. Or mm -hmm. if we, we send these forms home. Saying, say being able to pay at the snack shack, do you mean like with a card versus cash? Any way that they have that they want to pay. Yeah, a cash or check. Yeah, yeah, cash or check. We, we do, but we can't take payments for joining. Oh, I see. So yeah, this is, like this is okay. yeah, yep. this is just for, for somebody that wants to sign their kid up to come yeah. to soccer because they're doing baseball right now and the soccer registrations are out. We want them to be able to be convenient to, to just pay then. Yeah. Um, or when we're sending the forms home with, with to the, from the school to the parents, they, they should be able to either do it online or send in cash or a check to the school and the school will give it to me. Exactly. And we'll be able to bring it in and process it. Is that a rec? I don't think we want to do this it. Is all your rec stuff? Uh, uh, yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, because then they take liability. <laughs> That's true. That's, that was one of the issues, I think. Yeah, because they would take liability. Other, other yeah, but if we can do it so that it's online, yeah. so that they have that or they come to the, the field when we have an event. Yeah, even on. even at the field, Kim, that would make a huge difference. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that could run and take the money yeah. stuff, so you just have a separate. Just because it, you can do a meet and greet, you can introduce yourself. I wanted to do, one of the biggest things that I want to do is, for example, soccer coming up. I, I would love to have a day where all of the soccer coaches and assistant coaches are there and have all of the kids come and meet them so that they understand who they're going to be with, let the parents see who they're going to be with, mm -hmm. and they can sign up right then and there. We can have a table set up, we can have all the forms out there, and they can sign up, pay, and call it good. They used to do that years and years ago. We did, did sign up nights. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, when my older them. kids were little, we, uh, it, it, they used to do it at yeah. um, uh, the open houses right. or, you know, houses whatever actually. was a big town. Mm -hmm. Well, that was that big that was going on at least. Social open yeah, house. social yeah. house, yeah. any of that. Yeah. Yeah. That's where we would sign off and then. See, I have 2,600 unless that has Okay, 26. That sounds about right. Mm -hmm. I, I was two something. We're at like 774 or something. Just for like one month? Just for one month. That's awesome. And that's usually, awesome. that is only with sports. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I mean, anything above and beyond, that's just your basic three sports. Or yeah. four sports with cheer, so. I'm saying we're doing, so yeah. we have 46 <laughs> or 47 kids doing cheer tumbling right, right now. You get, I mean, with so, and she wants to do um, gymnastics in the fall. We're going, I've got to talk to Mr. Ross about getting the gym to be able to do some gymnastics. Yeah. Um, and okay. that, I mean, we'll, we'll meet that with oh, your be, basic sports. Oh, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll hit it. Budget, That's we, you know, when the budget was done, it was done before. We knew we were going to get a rec director and <laughs> didn't think we were going to, you know, we right. did it based on basic, the basic, basic four sports that we always did. So, so that money, that's going to go above and beyond that in no time. So the, the current sports that we have right now going is cheer tumbling, um, which ends August 30th. That's every Tuesday. So we're at the field from four to eight. Um, snack shack. Do we feel we're not, did you end up selling anything else after that or no? No. Okay. For cheer tumbling, you mean? The first yeah, week, the we, first sold week we did okay. We sold a lot of salads, and it's not like people are saying, "Ugh, I hate this." Um, they're just not coming up to the window. I'm mm -hmm. selling Airheads, yeah. um, lollipops, ice pops, <laughs> and Gatorade. Because they're hot. And in that particular order. <laughs> so they're almost wondering if maybe, like, while I'm there or something, maybe I can have it open so that we can do, like, just those type of things. And then if I'm saying you want to do it for the, the, the second, order. well, if you want to be for the second two groups, I can be there for the first two groups, unless you have. I've been there for the four hours, and it's you know it's it's a long four hours. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, so we'll, we'll plan on that then. We'll do. Split it um, up. We'll see how it works this coming Tuesday. I'll be there for the first two groups. Chris will run for I'm, the second two I'm groups. I'm not here on the second, and I'm not here on the fifteenth, sixteenth, whatever the yeah. next. So the next two Saturday or next two Tuesdays. When is it? August 30th. So a couple more Tuesdays. It ends August 30th. So August 30th will be like a little performance that they're going to, to do a little performance to show their parents what they've learned. So are you saying you're opening the snack shack during practice? It's been opened, yeah, because we were there for four hours and, right. and we have some parents that have kids in multiple groups. Each practice is an hour long. Wow. So if you have some parents that are there for two for two yeah. hours, and you've got the kids that we want thought, the airheads, and we'd sell some, you know, summer dinners. Mm -hmm. I wonder if we can't just like 
use the see if there's a, like encrustable or something and just sell well, we can we can do those I for think the kids like just to eat we, something those are on the board they are they there, okay they are. i didn't know if we i didn't see the window That's i didn't know if we had any yeah no, no. It's, it's more so of just instead of making anything nobody's coming so, yeah. yeah so what we, we have, have. there original request for a hot dog and i'm more than happy <laughs> to get the grill going, but that's not one the person going can't for one do hot the dog. grill. Yeah, you can't and do they that. They can't do the window, and they yeah. can't do the cash. You do, know, so it's just we, we just need more pot. hands. Yeah, but the um, yeah, I have a couple hot dogs in the crock pot, or they got burnt last time. Yeah, because nobody told me. She <laughs> <laughs> left them on high. <laughs> I just think there's not enough interest. There's not Half no. of the people there coming they, up to the window. Yeah, so are they only there for like an hour? At a time, like each group is an hour, right? Oh, okay, so it's not like. I mean, if they have kids that school, they, they, they stay. Groups, they're staying. So they're not hungry or anything. I, I yeah. You know, or they're bringing their own. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so I, if once we again, try just opening it with just some of the, the stuff that we have on hand. Yeah. Maybe get more airheads and make sure we have the drinks in there. That way, because yeah, the drinks are always good. So we're, we're, not make anything. we're selling to the kids, not the parents. Can we send out an email blast to whoever signed up and be like, hey, we'll have. Like light sandwich. We did. You did? Nothing. We've done huh? that. We've yeah. done that. The twice. email has gone out twice. Oh my gosh. I don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. It's been yeah. hot too. Yeah. I mean, just want some candy, a drink, and some, yeah. some, some chips right. or something. Yeah. 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 Right. Back to the um, uh, collecting money and using a debit card or credit card. Mm -hmm. I know way back I had mentioned to you. you with everything started up, you probably don't remember. Something about Dick's Sporting Goods. Um, they do something with uh, rec departments in different sports organizations. And I'm not exactly sure how it works. I was just told about it right before you got on board um, mm -hmm. from the Lebanon rec department and I, I think they even pay for the square and they donate a certain amount of money towards the rec department every year it's a program that dick's board and goods does so it might be something that you want to look into and it has to do with the snack shack and donation for um them to okay so it might be something that we could do that's already designed as that would be easy for the town to adopt um easier than setting up a whole new so okay. it might just be something to look into i'll put that down to definitely and they, like i was told that they they do like 200 dollars towards equipment and stuff like that for the sports too so that would get us our wrestling stuff no. <laughs> <laughs> um so other than that we have Oh yes, that's coming up too. Nice. Um, other than that, we have improv going on. We had to postpone this past week because of an illness. The um, coach or instructor or director, I guess he's called, um, was sick himself, so he wanted to push it off a week. Who's doing that? Um, Drake Wilson. He's a sophomore this year. Okay. Um, he's been huge into the drama world, and when I asked the high school kids some of the things that they would love to see provided to the kids younger than them, um, that was one of the things he said, I wish that Acton would have had something for drama improv because that's what he's gone into with high school and he loves. Oh. So I said, well, would you like to head it, head it up? I can put you in, in touch with somebody. And he kind of took off with it. Mm -hmm. So we're doing an improv. We're doing it at Barn Lights. Um, and actually Barn Lights ended up talking with him while we were meeting there, talking with them. Because in October, I think October 29th, they're looking at doing a Harry Potter themed dinner mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, where they're going to have the sorting hat. You're going to be in different, oh, different awesome. houses. <laughs> like, and he was asking him about helping him put on a performance. So we're going to be associated with, they're going to be associated with the rec yeah. and it's going to be some of the high school kids that'll be involved because I told them that the rec will definitely back it. Um, that way it kind of got us out and it's high school not just the little kids and it will kind of keep them going and we'll kind of listen as those are the ones that are teaching our young <coughs> kids what to do so that is october 29th is what he's looking at i'm waiting to hear more ideas from him um all right what the, and then, sorry upcoming sports we have <laughs> soccer um i wanted to touch base with you guys do we want to start the last week of august or do we want to start the first week like the, the 
week following Labor Day weekend. I think that's uh, okay. So the, the first well, week. I would suggest pra start practicing, not games, but practice the first week if you can get it all together. Yeah. Because we go into the end of October and uh, the nights get a lot colder. It gets a lot darker. Uh, rainy weather and stuff and you end up losing out on a lot of practices so I would suggest at least starting the practice the first the week before school starts okay so the last week of August How does, is that like a Tuesday Thursday and then a game on Saturday yeah Saturday. it's gonna be the same thing where I'll let the coaches pick which days work for them I'm going to be reaching out to all of the coaches that have done any coaching um, including everybody here um, seeing what everybody wants if anybody wants to coach soccer what grades they want to coach um, I've got a go over all background checks make sure everybody's good on everything I know everybody here I think is we should be fine um, but I, so then we'll do that in the past we used to start no earlier than five o'clock for practices um, I don't know I know I think one of the practices were earlier this year mm -hmm. um, but I know in the past a lot of the parents have a hard time getting even five o'clock's hard we used to try like 5 15 so people could get home and depending on how many um teams there are and whatnot um if you have enough space to 5 15 for the younger kids because that gives the parents a little bit extra time excuse me i'm gonna lose my voice again um to get not have to take time out of their work schedules to get kids to their practices and whatnot. So. Can we talk a little bit about setting up the season? Like when is when are signups? So I'm working on. I wanted to kind of go over with all of you first and find out what you thought of for the date to start. So probably the last week of August will be what we're going to focus on starting practices. Um, and then I'm going to go home tonight probably and finish filling out the forms. <laughs> that way we can start getting all of the signups. Okay. As soon as I go home tonight, I'll be able to update the form and then I can email it over to Jen. Jen can print it out and they can start signing up tomorrow. And we used to, years ago, <laughs> you can get your uh, soccer stuff at the end of the year. Yeah. Just, yes. you know, so that's something to think about maybe for next year because oh, yes. <laughs> Again. Everything will be set up. So that may help you yeah. next year. Anything yeah. that's over the summer, I think for sport wise, we should have sent home ready to go. Yeah. Unfortunately, kind of didn't happen this that's year fine. because I wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking the same, but more yeah. for for us to be able to then work out logistics with other towns. Yes. Right. And then getting soccer schedules actually outlined, mm -hmm. penciled in until we get confirmation of who's going to sign up and then we can. I mean, all summer long, we're going to be organizing what the fall schedule is going to look like, and then it will be done. Yeah. And I've been in touch with the South Berwick Homeschool Group because um, they've reached out to me multiple times, and they asked if I was game to go ahead and start scheduling for soccer games. So I told them to start putting us on the docket, let us know what they have, and we would go from there. Um, so we're definitely doing it with them, and then I think I think we were also looking at um, our Wakefield was another one that was on the list. Um, what about Milton? No. <laughs> I'll give you a status report next Friday. We're going on vacation this yes. week. You're not so. allowed to take a vacation. <laughs> you're, you're at the end for a status report, but you can give it next week. Can I, give I haven't <laughs> reached out to yeah, anyone I was just going to say Shapley and your field. Of yeah. Yeah. Shapley oh, doesn't do soccer. They only do little tots. They'll do basketball, and they have us on the roster to play for basketball. Yep. So um, Shapley doesn't do any competitive okay. sports do that Massabesic does. Massabesic does. Massabesic so took it over. Great. I mean, they have a beautiful soccer field that's mm -hmm. where we used to play mm -hmm. over there a lot. Yeah. Now they have a no-compete thing with ah. Massabesic United. Ah, that's so Massabesic United took it over. They do, like, the tiny tots for, like, two, two and a half up to six. Yeah. So can I do more? They were in the same yeah. position. They were losing like baseball. They were losing people to Mass B six. So that's why she started doing the yeah. the like skills and drills type thing last year. Which you um, just to keep something going. Yes. Okay. 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 Chris, Crystal's gonna say something really quick because she's gotta go. Peace out. <laughs> um, so we got like she said we have the food drive September fourth and we're gonna have the table like Sam said and the Girl Scouts. I have somebody from the food pantry actually gonna meet us afterwards so they can unlock it and they can take all the stuff so we don't have to worry about taking that stuff. Um, it's been post. It's going in the Reporter newspaper. I don't know if you guys get that in the mail and it's going on local legends the radio station. 
and a couple of things and we're getting flyers and the girl scouts are actually doing um yard signs for us oh sweet so they want to earn it's a a Girl Scout badge that they're going to earn. So it worked together. There's three different Girl Scout leaders and one troop. So. Is so it going to be held here? It's going to be um, at the old gym. Yeah, the old gym. Yeah. So we got all that and we got the list going and we're going to have flyers put up about that. Um, and then obviously the winter coat drive that's later on. We'll talk about that later, right? Yep. And I actually, going back to um, what I said about the Milton. Um, the newsletter mm -hmm. if you when you work on the the rules and stuff i like to be put down for that if i could if we talk about that you know a and newsletter I could huh communications. Communications. so i actually when i worked for kfc san Rico in the office i was in charge of their newsletter to 12 kfc's and employees and stuff and getting it every monthly so i did that so i have a background um in marketing from college <laughs> So. so anything we can use and abuse with marketing would be great. Yeah. Use and abuse me. <laughs> so that's it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I'll see you guys. Oh, gonna put the little one to bed. I forgot about one of the activities, the tree lighting. Oh yes. We that's we can re reevaluate that one as we come up closer, but we will have the tree lighting that usually happens in November. So. Yes. Okay. Uh, the end of November, usually the week after Thanksgiving or the week after that. Okay, so it'll probably be like the first of December then. Yeah, last year we did the first week of December, and I think it was better than the last week of November. Well, the last week of November, <laughs> I'd be out. We have the craft fair. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so um, it'd be a little bit tough. We're gone. And too. that, yes. with, with yeah. that, I'd like, yeah, definitely like to talk about that. I know um, how that whole thing started. Um, it started uh, it, that to give to the town and not kind of to make a profit or anything during that. So I, there's been a lot of talk um, when the rec talked about taking it over a while ago um, about doing like craft tables and different things like that to try to get some income coming in for the rec. But the people that started the tree lighting, it actually was started the boy as a donation or something for the boy one of the boys that died of leukemia which i'm not sure who oh, it is. Uh, viola is, is that who we're talking about? i don't i can't know. remember his family started it and i'm not sure when it's been passed down over the years to different groups mm -hmm. that did it they've all had kind of the same mindset that they wanted it to continue to give back to the yeah. town and not to turn it into like a profit thing mm -hmm. for the town so okay. that's something that i'd like to just try to mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. Under that yeah. way instead 100%. of um and you know well people not people have deviated a little bit but for the most part they've done a lot of the same things over and over again um with like we different different craft. Different. 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 Yeah, we just different like you were saying. You know, we we could probably figure out something for that too. I um. wanted to bring up and this is just an idea. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if your kids did this Lori. <coughs> How many years ago and they would um at the school take donations of gifts. Um you, you know, just you'd send send stuff in, whether it's a candle holder or or yep. whatever you had and then what they would do is a week or two before Christmas awesome. your kids would go shopping I mean a dollar and 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 they could buy and then they'd wrap them for the kids and the kids would bring them home for their mother or their father or it was a really neat it, I just oh I that's just, cool <laughs> and they had Santa Claus there to take pictures yeah, with the kids and, and do it anymore it, and I just I wonder if we could incorporate that with this. Sense. I know a lot of the problems were with the school were, what do we do with the stuff afterwards? And they used to keep it in the basement of the school. And I, I didn't even know there was a basement of the school. And, still, and they used to keep it down there. And a lot of the stuff, I think, would come back and it would start getting stinky. And um, 
and I, I, I think the last I time that they that. did, it was awesome for oh, the kids. Yeah, the kids like, would... Like the little, you know, my little ones, they come and yeah. I got a gift for you. Will you open it now? And I'd be like, no, let's wait be something they yeah. Yeah. And they, you, they could buy it, yeah, get a gift for their mother, father, yeah. sister, so all their immediate family. And it was like, you know, a little home for a mother, a makeup mirror yeah. or something like that. And they know a lot of the problem was storage afterwards. Okay. I just and the fact that, that after years and years and years, the stuff was like the last time they did it. Now I think Ronnie's a little bit younger than, than your uh, kids. Yeah. So um, a lot of the stuff was... Yeah. yeah. I don't know. It was just something I... It was really cool though. It feedback. was. I just wonder if that's something. No, that would that could actually be, be. I don't know about you guys. I think that would be something cool I think to look it's into. Really sweet, yeah, it yeah. Because we could look so into it. We could make it empowering for them to come with a dollar or fifty mm -hmm. cents. Yeah. It's know, huge. Just My have kids some little love to wrap up. Yeah. And maybe we put whatever's left in a tote and we put it in well, the new storage really building that we're working on getting. Yeah. You would have to you know, know, donations and whatnot. You know, something to think about. I forgot about that. That was a lot of fun. That was just yeah. I used to go rap. And then so did I. Yep, I forgot all about that. TJ. C. Wrestling. Yes. When would you like to see wrestling take place? Preferably after soccer, a week or two after soccer. One to two weeks. <laughs> I'd also like to gauge interest if that's possible. If there's like three kids interested, I don't think it would be worth it. If we have like 10, okay, I totally I can, would be down can, to do it. I can put out a... Um, Okay. How many weeks will soccer go? Six, right? It's six to eight, six depending to eight. on when we start okay. and when. So we're starting the last week of August, be all of September, be most of October. Most of October, and then you just want to make sure that it, uh, the PTG uh, does the trunk or treat. Yeah. So try not to stop at that same week. They usually uh, do the trunk or treat on, yeah. So, well, sometimes they have done it different times. Just yeah, try to be because we've done. Um, end of year ceremony and barbecue and whatnot on the day. same day and yeah it was a little bit tough. Gage. So you do a trunk be. because we were doing the barbecue and <laughs> so I just it, it's better not to do it the same day. Okay. Is there anything I don't special you want to talk to me about before I have to split up? I'm sorry. Oh you're good. Do you know anything about doing the um the parking or the driveway permits? Um, how to get one? How to like how to fill yeah. out that form? Oh, absolutely. Would that be something you'd be interested in doing? Because that's the do that. we do need to do a driveway permit. Okay. We do not need a parking lot permit. Okay. Perfect. Everything that is cut now is clear and ready to go. We can do whatever we want wherever okay. we've cut down. Um, but we I'll do need a driveway Jen, permit. Uh, print me out an application. Okay. And um, I'll get that done this week. Thank so, you. Yeah, it's it's not too hard. So okay. I'll have David uh, draw out the. The map on them? Where it's going. Yeah, you just gotta draw a map north, yeah. south, east, west. I was gonna but fill it out and then I saw that and I'm like, uh. No, I yeah, I just did one for us. So. Okay, perfect. And that, that's all we need with that. That's all you need. All right. I can email you if I have anything more. I promise. All right, please do. I'll harass you, don't worry. We'll become best friends. <laughs> I'm really, really happy that, you know, we have a good group here. I, I just, you know, the rec was always really important. I had five children that went through the town of Acton. And, and it was a big part of, you know, my life. Um, you know, we were baseball commissioner. We'd be out there doing the lines because I had three of them playing. Sorry, <laughs> John. <laughs> so, yeah, you, know, uh, you know, or running the shack at the school. We, we used that shack at the school mm. because we didn't have this down yeah. here when my, my kids were. The last two, yes, but, you know, the first three um, was mainly at the school or other places. But I can't thank all of you enough, really, because this is great. This is a good, good thing for our town. Our children. So, if you guys need it, Oops. I'll come to your next meeting. Just let me know when it is. If it's not on a Sunday, I can. It'll be. Okay. It'll be a Sunday morning. I know. I'm sorry. That's okay. If it was on Sunday, probably like a nine. Well, then, then I probably could. Okay, because I could be at work at eleven. But as long as it's not too early. Yeah. Okay. Unless I work a double on Saturday. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> Thank you, Kim. Do it summer. I know. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Thank you, Thank Thank you Kim. Night. Thanks for your time. Now, with wrestling, you, are you guys gonna cons like you gonna consider the like the other wrestling seasons of other? I was like, for tournaments and stuff. So when That's we reach out for soccer, different towns, I think we'll be trying to get on the same page for other sports too. 
I don't so. know. I was gonna say because I did wrestling with Connor, so I kind of know the ins and outs of a lot of how that works, and it's all every family pays for their own tournament, and you got you're traveling all over the place. Yeah, I we did like, it all you know, growing up. Yeah, I was gonna say he's got all of us. Now, when when is wrestling typically? Um, it's After usually, football. I would say it's usually the end of November. Connor started, and it runs till like April is when our last tournament was. Oh wow! Yep. Okay, because that'll give me an idea. Start, yeah, tournaments don't start until p pretty much so, January, so you work the end of November to January training, and then you start tournaments there every weekend. Is there anything special the town has to do in order to be a part of the tournaments? Um, I don't think so. I'm not quite sure. So I know Mass like League Mustangs sanctions where he wrestles through um, probably would have better answers. I don't know if they need the wrestling card or not because there's like a uh, no. wrestling organization that oversees everything so I know some tournaments require that do you want to put that on but your and then list? you just yes. you just make your roster they usually the coaches would send in a roster of who was going to each tournament and you pick and choose which tournaments you're gonna go to do you and then so TJ will look into that and then do you know what ages you want me to do an, an interest gauge for or it doesn't matter Kindergarten through, I think, 6th, 7th, whatever Sanford goes through is fine. Okay, K through 8th then? As long as yeah, we have... They usually sure to 8th grade, and then after 8th grade goes Do, off to... Does Mass School. First grade. Does Mass School. start at So are you going to do like yeah, one... Yeah, we had 4-year-olds. We had okay, so I don't know anything about wrestling, wrestling so do you do like one um, group... Uh, one, one time for like all of them you do one practice for everyone and then you hope that you have partners for everyone that's why i kind of want to gauge interest to yeah. start to if we don't have it. enough people it doesn't so make yeah, sense we to have had one yeah. practice i know we had one the little, more of the gear towards the littles one that was more geared to towards the big but then the big kids could come to the littles if they mm -hmm. wanted to do multiple do you want kindergarten or do you want pre-k so it's the entire acting school system pre-k pre might be a little young but okay. i it's up to you i'm if, they yes. have them wrestling. I will say they have them wrestling. At pre-K? Mm -hmm. Okay. I, I, I mean, saw four-year-olds. <laughs> yeah. Four-year-old twins that were wrestling, and it was okay. the cutest. I started in first grade, and I saw all kids my age, so I, I don't see a problem with pre-K. Okay. Yeah. Well, that way we can at least gauge interest for every grade that goes through Acton. Right. And kind of see where we get. Okay. Let's see what numbers and we have. wrestling too, right? The high school does. The high school. But we, but grade at, school? I don't know if they do or not. But Someone. I know that we don't have it so we through Acton, and I've confirmed that. Don't. No, right. So it would be nice to offer it because mm -hmm. I know our, our Sanford, our high school team, just placed to this year really? for states. I wanted to ask if anyone's dialed into the Sanford wrestling team. I'd love to have like a high schooler or two volunteer with me. Um, we have one here in town. Um, he lives on, he lives by Ashley Knight, actually. I should see if I can find his, the contact. I can see if he would help. He is a wrestler with the Sanford High School. I'd, I'd like to just get in contact with the coach. Okay. I'll go watch one of their practices. The and coach then, or with the, with the kids? The coach. Oh, okay. Um, and I'll do a little pitch at the end and say, hey, you know, great practice. If you guys want to volunteer with Acton, we're looking for people. I can see if I can figure out who the coach is, or do you want to just email over? I could figure it out. I was just okay. asking if anyone knew him. If not, I'll figure it out. I know one of the high school kids, but that's about it. Okay. If you can reach out to him, I'll reach out to the coach. Okay. Talking about the high school coach? Mm-hmm. Used to be Mark Camari. I don't know if that's him anymore. Really? Jen was a volunteer for... I was a wrestling manager. Wrestling manager. <laughs> well, there you go. She's going to be right back in. won <laughs> states that year, I'll have you know. <laughs> did you wrestle also? I did not wrestle. <laughs> oh, oh, come on. Gosh, no. I loved being a wrestling mom. <laughs> All right. So we've got my that. Mom, my mom hated it. I love it. I, I do uh, love the sport. Has anyone asked about cross country or track or anything like that? Moms. No one yep. has heard them talk about it in the awesome. background, but the problem is, is we don't have a spot for it quite yet. And I'm actually going to get to something with that too. We did do um, a club years ago. There was a club through the school that was just a cross country running club. Um, and they used to go on the Hebo Hibo. Oh, that would be um, I don't know. I know Hebo Hibo has some houses, I believe, now. Yeah, but so they're not right on the side usually. This still? Okay. So that's where they used to leave the school and go right over there after school. Um, a teacher was one that that was like to run that did it. My son did it years ago um, when he was in grade school. 
Building's not allowed to run. No. We can, we can definitely look into that. So I, I did kind of going off yeah. of that. I had um, Steve Bodnick. He is with the, uh, I think it's the Forestry Commissioner. Um, he does a lot of the um, extra, like the, the logging and whatnot in the area uh, for the town. He actually reached out to me in regards to another department, looking to see if we had other departments that would be interested in um, a, a spot behind Jim Driscoll's house on Sanborn. Um, he wants to, I guess there's 125 acres there and he wants to go in and he wants to create more trails and he wanted to know if we would have any interest in using said trails if we were to do that. He's gonna be walking the property probably. Where that, where that trail goes in off next to Jim's house? Uh, I think so, yeah. And it would be, I think he's looking at walking the property um, sometime in August. Mm -hmm. And he would reach out and let us know in that way if we have any interest, which I definitely did, and I'm hoping that you guys might have interest. Sure. Because um, I thought that that would also be a perfect spot for us to do like a cross country type in the woods. Is that Jim's property? I'm not sure. No, I think it's on the Nasons or something. He's like right in that. So I, what about... I, I talked to him about that once. I don't think that's his. I think it's I think it's just along the side and goes into the back. Yeah. And who is what he just wants to do trails for the town? Is that He want yeah, he wants but he wanted to make sure that there were other organizations, other committees in town that would find purpose with it so that so, it wasn't just him alone. And how many acres? I think there's 125 acres back there. He was almost thinking of doing like trail system. He says it's not going to be something as high tech as like Goat Hill. Mm -hmm. But it would be along the same lines of actually going in, clearing, making some, some trails and whatnot for uses for other departments. So what about looking into possibly doing any type of trails at the rec field? I told him that that was one of the things I wanted to do. But the problem that we have is where the field is cut, right. everything beyond where the field is cut is now all buffer zone and wetlands. I'm not quite and sure not why. the other side. The other side, we have majority of our, our land is on the other side of the wetlands. So it's, it's one of those, I have been talking a little bit with Jason to see if there's any way that we can access that other side. There's whether we can go, we can't get through the buffer hits all the way to the edge of the property line on both 25 sides. 25 feet on one side. Nope. It hits all the way. We pulled up the map yesterday. Huh. All the well, way on both sides. And you last hit, time. It is on the back side of okay. Garvin Road. Yeah. But we can't, you're not supposed to have two addresses. Mm. So I'm not sure how we would do that, but I told them the that land, I would like the to. The land actually there. goes all the way back there. Yeah. All the way back to Garvin. I think there's like 65 acres or something that we have. And the spot that we have in the front is like this. And then we've got yeah. the, buff, the, wet, the wetland is like that. Yeah. And then it comes up to like here is all of the usable land behind that goes all the way to Garvin. Yeah. So we only have like a half of what is on the other side. Yeah, so. This is our whole wreck. Oh, wow, that's huge. We've got 65 acres, yep. All the way to Garvin. Pass that around. Where is it located? On the back, on on the back side. The back side. Wow. So this is our field here. Yeah. This is where we just cut. This is our buffer zone. But this side... It touches. It touches it? It touches. Really? He originally told us 25 feet. So this so is our buffer like zone of the wetlands. And then on the other side of that, there's... Uh, well, there's 65 acres altogether. Is 65 acres altogether. 65 acres altogether. 65 acres altogether so probably have, what, five in the front? Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably, give or take, maybe so, 10. So we probably have like 40 if, acres yes, that are usable in the that back. Are, that is not wetland, but it's trying to get to it. You can't come in from the other side. We can't add an address from the other side. Why? You can only have one entrance. So, but I was talking to him and asked, I said, I wonder if there's a way. So the buffer zone is, is 75 feet areas. wide. So it would be where kind the new parking lot's going to be. Where the, so yeah, the, where the buffer zone is is the buffer zone is 75 feet around. Right. So one yeah, of the questions that really I propose that I'm waiting to hear about right. is what and if we yeah, basically take 14 or 16 yeah. feet okay. right on the edge of the property line, so it's on the very outskirts of the buffer zone, and use that as a road to get to the back. Right. So that has been a question that's been arose. We'll have to look into it and, and dive more and find out more information about that. Because long term, I would love to have like a rec community center and I would love to be able to use that back acreage. I don't want to set bathrooms up in the front yet if we're going to be building something bigger like that in the back. So it's, it's kind of one of those that's on the, the five or 10 year plan that I wanted to propose, but I don't think we'll get to it probably tonight because it'll be so far out. Yeah, that's, mm -hmm. that's, that's a big project. This is yeah. all your buffer right. zone. Right. So okay. This is where the parking lot 
it, the new parking lot's going to be. This is our field here. This is your buffer zone. Yeah. And this is all the acreage. This doesn't show the buffer zone here. No, you can see where it's like about up to here, but that's all acreage. This mm -hmm. is Garvin Road back here. Wow. Which road? Garvin Garvin. Road. Okay. That comes off of 109. So this is 109 here. Mm -hmm. Why they ever did it? I don't know why they did it on that side. Is beyond me. But this side always seems to have more um, area. area that's not as close. The buffer zone's not as bad. So when, when we started talking about doing this parking lot, my thought was this parking lot that we have now would probably be more for say handicap coaches people that are using uh that are working at the field and whatnot and this would be at some point the majority of the parking and if that was the case that we could if we could get a variance make a road from here over to this side so that was what has been talked about for as long as i've been on the wreck but so. Nothing's been done up to this point other than the parking lot, so. And parking lot currently, we are <laughs> waiting. Uh, we need a uh, driveway permit because it's on 109. We don't need a parking lot permit, but we need the driveway permit. And as soon as that's done, which is what I was talking to Kim about, Kim's going to fill out that form for us, and she's going to get that in. Then we'll be able to go forth and hopefully get all the bids in and be able to start that project soon. So the bids are not going out until you The bids the until we have the permit. We have to have everything. Um, the parking lot will be a little bit smaller. I believe it's going to be about 100 by 120, 130 is what it will be because of how lopsided it is and what the funds are that we have available. Um, so they were taking into consideration all of that and what needs to be done. So, so. the tree person suggested um, whatever we do not use for parking lot to make sure we seed it because once it's seeded, it's not going to grow back. Um, I drove by the other day. I couldn't believe the little stuff yes, that was already sticking up out of there. I was like, and he said it will go quick. So yeah. um, he, you know, two or three months max, and we had that done. I know. So um, yeah, we want to get you know definitely put in some money for the the seed and the extra part. And the reason why we went with what we went size wise was because. We had five thousand dollars, so I said, perfect. "Let's go as big as we can with that five thousand dollars, in order." So, looking in the future, that we could do something else with it. If you know, besides a parking lot, like who knows what dog park or tennis courts or whatever, and still leave a buffer for the people that are next to us. So we left like twenty-five feet on the back side and maybe about 35 feet on the front side um, just to give that buffer zone for the person that lives there so all right so then we've got to kind of move on a little bit <laughs> we've got volleyball we're going to do um, I'm just waiting to meet with uh, the new athletic director at the school um, to find out when they're done using the inside we believe that it will probably be the last week of February, first week of March is when we'll be able to do it, so we can do volleyball in there. Um, for the first one, we probably won't really pay attention to being able to go against other teams unless we know that that's when volleyball is, but I'm not sure when the volleyball season typically is. What do you mean, athletic, the Acton Athletic Director? Yeah, it's Christy now. Christy, uh, Christy Hall. Okay, so she's... I'm waiting to find out what, because she has... Um, a calendar of when she's using the, the gym, gym for their stuff. Okay. So I have to go around theirs. Right. So I'm just waiting. I, I haven't been able to talk with her yet because okay. it's summer break and she's not in the school. Right. So the first of the school season, I'll be able to talk with her and be able to figure that out. Her number. Huh? Can you email her? I don't know if she's actually going to pay attention to them over the summer. So, I mean, it's not going to be until March, February, March anyways at this point. So what about basketball? basketball? Basketball is going to be after we're there, anyways, too. Basketball? Yeah. Basketball will start after we're in school. Oh, after school, right? Yes. But you're saying February, so, March? No, no, that's volleyball. Oh, okay. That's I thought volleyball. you said we couldn't get into the school till February. No, 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 March. no, 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 no. 
All right. I'm because sorry. they're already planning on us with basketball, said. but and we already know that we have to go around the schedule for what the school is doing. So with the volleyball, because we're adding an extra thing in, just like we're going to be adding wrestling in, and we also want to add in gymnastics, um, which um, who, I'm sorry, I misunderstood what you're oh, no. saying. Who maintains the uh, the mats for wrestling? I think we just have mats at the school. At the are, school are uses. they wrestling mats or? We, I don't. I don't know what the quality is that you need. As of now, we've never had permission to use their stuff, so that would be something she would have to talk to the school about. And I think I, if I've understood correctly, and I'm going to talk to Mr. Ross again, he said that there were quite a few mats there, so I don't see why it would be an issue. I don't know what the thickness are on them. Are they yeah. wrestling mats? Oh, so I don't know. So the cheerleaders used a couple of mats, and I don't think they were even cheerleading mats. No, I think they're like basic tumbling yeah. mats, so. I don't, I don't, really trust I don't think the school has okay. wrestling mats like or mats. cheer mats. They're just like, they're not real thick. They're just basic, once when I was a you kid, know, gym mats. Um, Thickness. So, <coughs> yes, can you get pricing in that for what it would be for wrestling mats? I could, yeah. Yeah, get, figure out pricing that we would need for any equipment that we would need for wrestling. I know for cheer, we want an octagon mat. That's about $600. So it's something that we're... I know we looked into wrestling a couple of years ago. We had someone that was on the board that was interested, and they were looking at probably about $2,000 yeah, for was, whatever the wrestling mat is. Yeah, so, wrestling mat and that was probably you got headgear. four years ago. So um, I, would, I would definitely encourage only having a few things of headgear to provide. I would want people to yeah, buy them. Kind of supply their, their, like, yeah. Just like as a... You forget at one practice, we have some spares, but... You definitely want to bring your own headgear and not maintain it for other kids. I think it's dirty real quick. We're, we're looking at doing adult pickleball. Um, that was one of the things that Carol had gotten a lot of interest on. So I'm just waiting to see when, what day of the week we could plan on using the gym for the adult pickleball and then reach back up to Carol. Again, I have to wait and see what they have planned because they have a lot of their events starting to be What do they here. use for pickleball for? It's like tennis. Is it just like a tennis net? I think it's like You're a tennis like net. Pickle, right? <laughs> <laughs> It's a grid. I don't fully understand it. I haven't seen it. Oh, it's like it a four square grid type deal? I don't know. They, it, 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 there's, there's a serving, it's it. which is the kitchen. I don't like, know. Uh, a big whistle ball. Oh, okay. So we are looking at trying to do that. I'm waiting to hear back from him. Um, and then we'll do the gymnastics. What is the date that basketball usually starts? So la okay. <sighs> That other towns usually start too. I don't know because okay. we used to play against Chapley, and they're they're pretty flexible. Um, with everything with COVID, it changed. In the old days, we used to do it no um, January February like we did last year. Okay, and then most recent years they were doing November December, and we were playing. We played. Um, no, Wakefield, Newfield, and Shapley at that time. So I don't know who that was before I got on the board that that was the schedule that we were doing, like when Katrina was in pre-K, kindergarten. Um, I think a lot of the people like January, February better. November, December, um, but I don't know what the other schools are you doing. I actually just remembered I had an email back from Sam. Uh, Sam Shapley. They typically start the first ish week of December and they're done by February vacation. So, see, are they going to be able to do it this year? That is the plan. Yeah. And she's hoping that she'll at least be able to coincide with us if they can't use the Shapley gym, that we can figure out something for them here. So, we'll, we'll figure yeah. that out. Yeah, that would be, I mean, ideally January, February. I think the parents liked way more, but I don't know what the school, other schools, if we're going with. We want to definitely coincide with what other schools do because we would like to yeah. do games against them and not do. But years and years ago, it was always January, February. So we used to play um, Alfred way back. Yeah. Um, for basketball, we played Wakefield one or two years for basketball. I don't know what they're doing these days. Um, I'm talking when Ronnie was, <laughs> Ronnie and Alyssa were younger, so not Katrina's age group. Um, okay. 
always played Chapley. We played um, the line school. Uh, re most recent years we played line school. Years ago we didn't play line school. But um, I don't, that was, their schedule was November, December. I don't know who started the, that schedule. Okay. And we only played Shapley and um, the line school at the, uh, those years. So. Um, so along kind of, I guess, maybe the same topic, can we standardize, yeah. like maybe here, the grades that we're doing for every sport? Because it seems to be changing from sport to sport, and I want to see if we can like think, maybe standardize it. Well, I was going to say, think, of, think most, most of them should be about the same, where it's pre-KK. Mm -hmm. um, so pre-KK is one group. Pre-KK is one group because they're so, I mean, you've got three and a half to five and a half, six-year-olds. So pre-K to K, and is it first, first third? First, second. Oh, first, second, that's right. First, second. And is it third to fifth, or? Third. Well, no, it, might be it should be typical. No third. Yeah, no, it should be third, fourth, and then fifth, sixth. That's the way it's always been. Okay. The problem is when we don't have that many kids that are playing. Got it. We've had to combine them over, combine them together, like we did with basketball for fourth. Um, no, we did first, second, third, fourth, and then we did fifth, sixth, and then we opened it to seven, seven which was yeah. a <laughs> we, won't, we won't go there. <laughs> um, so typically it's two grades and a thing, but if we don't have the numbers, we'll have to wrangle with how big the kid is and how mature the kid yes. seems, probably. And, and we never did seventh and eighth. So seventh, eighth always was junior high. Junior high did their own basketball, soccer, uh, baseball. They then they opened it up to six if there weren't enough seventh and eighth graders. I think some of the schools only allow seventh and eighth grades, so that's where it gets funky. That's where you would want to talk to Miss Hall about what ages they do. So typically the rec always did up to sixth grade. Basketball, the reason why we opened it up last year for basketball was because they didn't have basketball through the school. So a few times the no man land between what is it seventh and eighth yeah so then we opened it up we were hoping to get enough kids to play seventh and eighth but that's not something that the rec has typically done it's only this covid stuff um has changed things up a little bit and just you know we're looking at seventh and eighth graders saying that they're the ones that need sports more than the younger kids and so um there's also, you know, hindsight being what it was, uh, I would never do what we did for basketball. Um, again, with the older kids and the younger kids together, um, it's just too much of an age gap um, size-wise and whatnot, which we found out. But, you know, live and learn. Mm -hmm. And, um, but typically we always stopped in six. And for the most part, um, uh, we really, because the school was started bringing the sixth graders in to um, their fifth uh, junior high team, we really didn't have any sixth graders. So we really were stopping at fifth grade. So the last couple of seasons for soccer, it was third, fourth, and fifth because we might've had two or three fifth graders. And that's worked out somewhat okay. Um, Is that what you want to do again this year? Third, fourth, fifth? If we had enough fifth and sixth graders? Do a separate? Uh, we, definitely, they should be separate. I would like to see what the numbers are before You gotta see what the numbers are. Once the numbers come in, you gotta see what the numbers are and then make a you know judgment call from there if you don't have enough kids. If you're playing different teams or towns, it's a lot easier. Yep. With COVID, we were trying to get enough kids to play against each other, against each other because there were no other towns to play. Um, so that made it more difficult. But I think, depending on what Miss All does for the sixth graders, is going to um, make a determination whether the sixth graders join or not um, for soccer. I believe sixth no. graders have Three. been moved up to middle school again. Three years ago, we had a fifth, sixth, uh, or the year before so uh, COVID, we had a fifth, sixth team for soccer. We had enough kids, fifths and sixths, to have um, one team, and we were playing against other towns. Do you know so, if we have quite a few homeschool sixth, seventh, eighth graders that might? Be? I don't know off the top of my head, but I do belong to a York County homeschooling group, okay. and there's not a lot offered to the homeschool community. So, 
Not really at all. <laughs> the homeschoolers should be able to play Acton Junior High. Some do, some don't want to. They don't want to, and okay, but they, they a, know that they can, right? Some do. Okay. And that's also the same within the school, is you have some kids that don't want to play. I didn't want to do school sports. I wanted to do the rec because the dynamics were different. It is. It's a so very you're talking dynamic. about opening up the rec up I, to seven, I'm keeping it open to eighth grade, grade yep. Yeah. Oh. Yep, that's what we just did for baseball, and it wasn't well known yet, so we're opening everything up so that we have the option for the eighth graders to come, like oh. the wrestling and stuff like that. If you had to guess how many homeschoolers are in Acton? Oh gosh. Actually, I don't know. Um, Ashley Knight has the three, Aaron Bartlett has the three. I've got my two. You've got your two? Well, and technically plus three. My, I'm gonna say plus my old, well, she's in the public school, but she would much rather be through doing rec stuff than she would be We might be, be having two more stuff. in Shackley. Okay. So this is really a good opportunity for outreach. Yeah, so yes. This is the definitely an opportunity especially to pull in, for the older hard, kids. Yes. Yes. There's not so many options. themselves yeah. that, you know, this pulls out more. I but think we have good farm teams coming up. You know, you are always commenting, and you're probably seeing this too because you've got the little ones. You know, the, the younger groups for baseball, they were huge. You yeah. know, we had two really good groups, and then it kind of fell apart with some of the older. But these kids are getting interested, and in, they're learning what it's mm -hmm. like to be on a team and part of a team and what that means so I think we'll start seeing some of those kids kind of come up but I think but that you know the fifth the, the kids in the fifth and sixth and the seventh and eighth groups I don't want to say they're being overlooked but some of them are they haven't been as active well maybe. they have it the past two years they haven't been enough interest right. in the school so right. they haven't really done too much so they've done right. some but not you know, much. I'd like to Rex a good spot for focus them to, yeah under to for them to be able to know if they like something or not before going to play and without it being over competitive and, yeah yep. yeah because that's a big thing to look at, you know, for a kid, especially ones with anxiety right. and stuff, is you Without look at trying school out. and you're like, yeah. oh my god, that's overwhelming, whereas right. you look at our type, you know, it's not overwhelming right. to them, but they can learn it. And, and the kids have been really welcoming, and they've been kind, you know, and considerate of each other, I but think. But for it to work, you definitely... Uh, got to reach out to like the homeschoolers and stuff like oh, that. Yeah, There's just awesome. not enough but kids <laughs> for them to be able to play. Um, some go through the school and some go through the rec. There's just there's, then that's when we run it. We'll run into the problem with what do we do with the two or three that we have signed up, and do we put them on the younger team or not? And that's where it comes down to. It comes down to that's where we've already seen that it gets into trouble messy. by doing that. It gets really messy really quick. Like, does I know, that like, happen like in the middle school? I mean, it's all just rack, you know, like first through or pre-K through, I don't know, fifth grade. And then we get into that middle school yeah, where they sixth might have is sometimes options. Sixth is sometimes middle school. It depends on how big the classes are. So the classes that are now in seventh and eighth are smaller than they were last year. Last year, seventh and eighth was the middle school. This year, it's sixth, seventh, and eighth. Okay. Um, our, to give you an idea of some of our numbers, we have 12 eighth graders that just graduated eighth graders that are going into high school this year. That's we've, it. We've got 41 in fourth grade. The so to kind of give an idea. So do you, but this is really important. Do you have other numbers on that? Because this is a good gauge for the coaches. So we've got 41 kids in fourth grade. Mm -hmm. And it, all the grades are a little bit different. It's kind of interesting this recently and this year. Now, from what I've seen with my older kids, my older kids, there was always between 30 and 34 kids in all the grades. So how do we and get that And now there's, go just to the school, Amanda, I can you get, I can yeah. get numbers for every so grade from Amanda. That would be helpful. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. so what we know who we're, who our audience is, who are we catering to. Yeah. I think that would be really important. families are going important. towards homeschooling now, you know. I've even seen a huge And then yes. combine yeah. that yeah. list when I know you can come up with. when I was trying to find sports for the kids, everything was an hour away. It was either way down south or way up north, <laughs> nothing for this area $130. that gears towards us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, and how far nothing. are you like here? How long does it take? Because you're you're kind of um, far out. No, I, it's only like a 13 minute drive for me oh, from so Newfield. As far as I think. Okay. Oh, you live in Newfield. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Does the town keep demographics? Like, 
Do we know how many seniors we have? Like gen generally, I'm not sure. Just to gauge interest and things like I bingo. So. And I, mean, what I think that do? we are more of a senior de derived community because we have a lot of the um, snowbirds per se. Mm -hmm. um, so we have a lot of the retirees here. We have. Because we're Do they stay? <laughs> no, they stay like through the winter. Like most of our snowbirds leave during the winter. Okay, they're here until I want to say about December-ish, so, and then they come back around March. So late December, a lot of them leave. A lot of them you know, right after in, Labor Day. We in just after Labor Day, and mm -hmm. people were taken off then. A lot yeah. stay till after the holidays if they have family members. Yeah, they might leave before Christmas, but so usually that December is that cutoff. I know Carol. Carol leaves in November. And she comes back in March, I and believe. March knew, uh, last year she left in the end of December. I can't. She told me what the dates were, and I forgot what it were. They. <laughs> I know it's fluctuating because I yeah. think she's just started doing like, that. It's like March, April, or whatnot is when she's back. Okay. Um, so that's. I mean, we but have. There's, there's still a lot of seniors that would like to do stuff. Mm -hmm. um, we have a lot of. I know here. we. There, the church used to do the chair aerobics, and that was one of the things that I was going to ask about. Mm -hmm. um, and that was always popular with the seniors. Um, not that you have to leave it open to just seniors. Um, or even yoga. Let's get cribbage. I'm, cribbage yoga going. Would be yeah, cribbage. I don't want to do yoga bingo yoga. too. Right. As a senior, we well, we really want margarita Mondays. <laughs> Dude, I'm not a senior, and I'm coming. Well, well he's considered a senior these days, right? Now, I'm there. Um, I wanted to do like a bingo too, and have a hat in the center, and everybody for every card you take, you put a dollar in that hat. It's not actually going anywhere, but you put a dollar in that hat, and whoever wins gets the hat. I think for bingo, you or need to bars. you need to. Um, get the money thing down with the town before well, see, they start doing anything well, like the that. The thing that I think about with that, and I'd have to run it through the town anyways, yeah. the thing that I think about that though is everybody's putting it in the center. Nobody's actually taking it. I'm not, no, I'm not, I'm not counting talking it. just the money in the center. I'm just oh, talking no. bingo in general. Just anything that's going to be bringing the money in. That's something that, even have some that you need to get clarification with the town. They won't even let us touch the money for registrations, never mind doing bingo on a weekly basis. Oh, no, that's, it wouldn't be uh, bingo. They, did, they used to have a bingo board here. I don't know. They still do. But those are, those are a couple of the things that I would here. To. Years ago, they used to do bingo. I'd, I'd like to make sure, you know, whenever there's not something going here, unfortunately, it seems like there's a lot going <laughs> here. I'd like not to have. Not during the day, though. Not during the day. No. No. Okay. I know that the church used to do the chair aerobics for the seniors at like 9 in the morning. I mean, I don't know who they used to have. You may want to contact them. I don't know if Terry Minahan ran that or if. Um, Terry? No. So people along Lakeside Drive, like, they're craving a reason to get together you know yeah mm -hmm. and they don't know what talk other. to they don't they, there's nothing going on you either know someone and you go to their house or there's nothing so like people are craving a reason around here community. Yeah. Yeah. to have community yeah. so and that's what and we've talked them, a little bit about them. that and you know opening it up you know for coffee or lunch or you know yeah. a monthly dinner or something what if we what's your name um, they do well, the they do that, that too yeah the yeah the owls do a once a month that. or every other week or something that they do That's, a get together and they make a big dinner and that may be who either you or carol or whoever want i, I mean can, i can talk to them too i don't I mind because i know joy i can talk yeah with i can call i can if you want me to head that up you want to have that one? i don't mind go for it i'll find out what they want um i know they do the the once a month uh, lunches um but like you said, cribbage. They, um, poor People's Pub, we went there one time for lunch, and they do cribbage. Like they do. Trivia. Yeah. <laughs> I signed trivia. up for it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I haven't played cribbage in 70s it's trivia. Yeah, it's 80s trivia. Ish. Have some music yeah. playing. Yeah. Pictionary. I mean. If we did it here, I would kay. do it here. There's so many. Yeah, they could do something different if you. If you. <laughs> So the, the movie thing, I would love to do. I know the we had that The only problem on with that is, is you need more people than just the board to... I think we could get more people to volunteer. We have a lot of people that are willing to volunteer. You just don't want to do certain things with the volunteering. But you're asking an awful lot of... It, it, it's a fine line because there's so many things that we could do, but you're asking an awful lot of the board, um, you know... 
and it's the same thing with you know I mean when I, I it was me and Carol and we were doing everything there was no one else and I I, I know where you're at with you know and I get I get frustrated because yeah. I want to I want to do things I want to do yeah. a lot of things and I want to do them well but I'm also mm -hmm. trying to narrow our focus so yeah, that I yeah you know, so kind of thought we'd start whittling down and just putting mm -hmm. things short term mid term yeah. and long range and, and I think you know, it might be good to just settle on like that and just two well, two events per month just as a start. Yeah, we're, we're aside from we're sports, at. just two just, events well, per month. Our feet just to, yeah, a bit. Right. I think right now because what we're really doing is we're going over we're what we find sports. interesting. Because I sound like the naysayer, and it's no, just you know, no, no, that, but that's uh, you know, time. other people would come and say, "What about this? What about that?" I'm like, get involved. There's only so much time for one person. Well, if someone asks you, "What about?" this you say would you like to head that up yeah exactly oh, yeah. would you like to volunteer no, to put that to together that. we would love yeah. to do that and we would support you <laughs> but I know. I'm not joking because I think that's going to be the key if we have yeah. like one person yeah. who's like yeah I'll put together like an annual bingo mm -hmm. night then it's just one thing that they have right to do everyone in. Right. your heads a yep. project yes. Yes. yes and that would be so I think more so what we're doing right now is we're just getting more ideas but we're not because I agree do two things a month, you know, two activities a month would be great. It's just kind of figuring what we would like to do because I want to, we haven't been able to incorporate our seniors or our parents into anything other than um, the cornhole. That was a, a quick short notice fire out there. Um, so I would like to, you know, be able to think of things that we can, you know, rally together and decide what would we like to do this month? What do we want to do next month? <laughs> It's, we're not saying every week to do chair yoga or bingo. It would be once a month or something, or maybe we'll do bingo tonight and we'll do bingo in two weeks, and that'll be our our just to get case. something on the calendar yeah. and just stick with it. And if it doesn't fly, then, then we can you know, we'll give it another month and so we'll take it off. I really like the idea of like an October fast. Yes, I and, love that. And the Harry Potter thing around Halloween. Oh, so Harry maybe Potter just the Harry fun. Potter thing and not <laughs> the haunted me. walk. Like. So Pick that one and then start moving in that direction. So if he's doing the Harry Potter dinner in that on October 29th, the haunted walk most likely wouldn't be a good fit for that one. But I do still want to do um, something for the kids. I don't want to do pumpkin carving because Mary Grant already does it. I don't want to steal their thunder. Something that Mary Grant has done for years. I don't want to step on toes with that one. Um, I want to let them continue to do it where they've rocked it every year. They always have their snack packs and it's amazing. Right, so then we should be taking Taking these off of our lists, right? Yes, right. So that's, on the, that's on the long PCG list. PCG right? does trunk or treat every year. Yeah. To put this in perspective, and then I'll just stop talking. <laughs> I call through. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I call through all of those text strings. Oh, and Jesus. this is the result of that. And it's hours. It's hours mm -hmm. of going through. And all of the little things that kind of, it's like popcorn. It just keeps coming. Oh. And I put it all, and I'm not saying we have to do all of this or no, we're not doing any of it. I'm just saying oh, no. I've already kind of put these things out there. So the things that we know we have no interest in should just be crossed right off. Right? And then we don't have a five page list or an eight page list yeah, this is we a have a two page it. list but we just put things again priorities what do we want to do first mm -hmm. we know we want baseball we know we want basketball we know we want Golf soccer sports. we're going to try and get wrestling right so mm -hmm. that should be our core that's going to be yeah. our revenue that's going to yep. give us the experience that we need as a group to see what we need and then all right tj how much more can you take on jen how much more can you take on can you take you know this piece well someone might be like a volunteer for holidays exactly like, anyway yes. they'll do the easter and the light tree light we're not like, getting those volunteers and i kind of thought by now would have we'd had have more volunteers well i think it, it takes we need we need to do more with the rest of the community and not just the kids so that's exactly no, that's, that's what i've been trying yeah oh yeah. she brought up an awesome idea and I know this brings up another one, and it's probably one that we can use barn lights for because I guarantee they would jump at the idea as well. Line dancing. Absolutely. Who around us has line dancing? Nobody. So if it was okay with you guys, I would like to reach out to Paul again and say, hey, what do you think? Because I've already talked to him about another fundraising idea with the mom prom. Um, oh. He wants to, to hop on that, too. How receptive were they with mom prom? 
How how did that work out <laughs> with only one person showing up? Oh, they didn't care. They didn't care? No, because it was the end of their activity night anyways, so they just got to pack up early. But they didn't have like all the food ready and whatnot. They had the food from earlier. Okay. So it wasn't like they made anything new. No. Paul just, Paul and Cole and Anna were all there, the three owners. Um, they are amazing. They've done multiple things with us. Um, I bow down to them because they're also going to be... Um, giving coverage for our drama our drama group and they're just amazing and they we they're very understanding for line dancing because i've seen many times but we need to learn from that mistake sam oh i know no 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 no. we can't make those mistakes we're not doing the field days again but we didn't communicate that to anyone so people showed up or they didn't show up on whatever the next schedule was i'm just saying we need to be a little more focused i know on how we communicate and how we plan and how we all get our friends involved because we can't just keep relying on you know these kids parents we want to reach out to the greater community and i think we just need you know again it's the dead horse beating again but yep. you know a website a calendar of events and add to that as we can and as we grow okay. but to focus on the things that we can do so line dancing is great and that in my mind is like a fantastic winter thing and we could be like really bare bones and we can do it here or we could do it at barn lights if people want to spend yeah yeah my preference no, would no, be no. that too but we want to include everybody so oh, no. we want to be able to keep the price point so that we're making some money and we're having some fun getting people I think, and getting Believe or not, I, I think you're going to get a better turnout at Barn Lights because of the alcohol. Yeah, that's so. If we, that definitely works my, for me. My, my preference, so if we're... Time. Yeah, they can register ahead of time. If we're going to be... So Barn Lights is great because if we're doing an event there, they're not charging people to come in. That's on us. So if we want to charge a fee for them to come in, then that we can either work together with them and create a set fee that'll include oh a meal in dancing or just the dancing. And if it's just to be entering the hall it's it's our it'll basically be our profit um, for our fundraising if they want to and then they have their bar open and they can have um, the kitchen open for whatever they decide to do on the side and that will be their profit okay. so it splits it um, with cornhole he it was running the same exact way where it was you know we would charge $30 per team and if anybody wanted to purchase any beverages or any food they could and that would be for bar rights I think you would do it I would assume let them do the food, let them do the yeah. um, they do the food alcohol, and alcohol and everything, and don't get involved in that, and nope. just do a fee for and going to, to do door, to yeah. do the because you need an instructor too. Yeah. Are you going to pay an instructor? I don't know. We'd see if we could get one that would be interested in volunteering first. I don't know any line dancing. <laughs> I don't know any line dancing. Do you know any line dancing? I don't. No, but someone in town does. I know. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, I know. I always yeah. wanted to do, but no one ever had. Like, when I, I grew up in Rhode Island, and we had... Um, I can't remember the name of the barn, but they had line dancing a few times a month, and it was a massive thing that everyone got together, and it just became a huge community. But is it a 21 and over, or is it 18 and over, or 21 and over? Was going to be or is question. it kids involved? Mm. I wouldn't do kids. I, I would do, do 18 or 21. I would do evening. Let's. It's yeah, a night out. It's a night out. Maybe it's going to be 21. Well, I was gonna say, Especially with the alcohol. With the alcohol, they can still serve alcohol with 18-year-olds. Mm -hmm. So they do we do it for alcohol with anyone? Yeah. yeah. Should we do it as 18 and older, so it's theoretically all adults? I don't know. I know I can't go because I don't have ever have a babysitter. So. <laughs> Just, just for awareness, I think the town hall closes in about 20 minutes. Did, did we hit all the points that we wanted to hit? Um, I wanted to go just a couple more really quick. Okay. Um, Lego Club, did you guys get that message? Lego Club is not most likely going to happen this year just because uh, Mr. D looked into it, found some equipment for all of the younger kids a lot as well. Um, prices are expensive, <coughs> so he's going to try to write out some grants. He believes that he can get most of it for free with the grants um, so that we would hopefully be able to have it for next year. So it's not something this year, maybe this winter or something, but most likely for next year. Fundraising. Um, we have the three things on the table right now. We have oh, four things technically. We've got the candy bars. Do we want to do candy bars during basketball or base or um, soccer? Soccer. Soccer. Definitely. Okay. Um, the snack shack and candy bars like 
they could bring in some pretty good money. Yep. Well, because the, the candy bars, it's I think sixty candy bars per box. We sell them at a dollar a piece, mm -hmm. um, and I think we get fifteen dollars profit per box. Um, I we have several people outside of that would be buying them, like Lori Beth with Little Farm Bakery wants to sell boxes over there. Um, but we would send them home with we have the parents approve of it, and then we can do boxes through the parents. Candy bars of soccer. Um, we do have to pay. Wait, are we buying them ourselves or are we subscribing to something? So with the candy bar fundraising, the way that it works through the company is you do have to buy them up front. Um, they send them to you, you get them within two days. And then if you need more through your fundraiser, say you're running your fundraiser for two weeks, if you need more, you just go ahead and buy the extra boxes and whatnot. We pay, I think, $45 for the box. And if we sell each candy bar for, for a dollar a piece, which is actually cheap for candy bars nowadays, <laughs> we still get the $15 profit on top. So we would put the money back and we would get $15 extra for every box sold. That's one of the only ones that require Thinking payment about upfront. upfront fee of s per child? Per box? So one we're going to give child. the kit to the kids. We will give it to the parents of the kids, yes. We will have the parents sign something. I will make sure that we print something out that basically says, you know, whatever is not sold has to come back. And if it doesn't come back, $60. Like, so you're thinking $60, one box per child that's that's what we That's what we always did when we were kids. We always took a box home, and if we needed another box, we would go back to the coach. And so couldn't we do that like ourselves that. and just buy them at BJ's or Costco? We could, but one of the things that I really liked about this one is it's not free, and it's also through a fundraising organization. So they're making Wait, that it's not it. free. I don't think they're not. They're not free. Yeah, so like Marion, Marion is peanut allergy central. So I can, she can buy any of the candy bars that are in this box and not have to worry about having peanuts. And what happens if the kids don't sell them? I don't think we're gonna have to worry about that. I don't think we'll have to worry about that. Can we just That's sell them in the snack shack? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I'd much rather just start selling, selling, selling things at the snack shack. Kids, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money you're putting out. Wait, and that's a pro a or a con? It's a con. It's a con. A con. In case we yeah. pay I mean, I, yeah. it's 60 bucks a box. Yeah. Eight, and we had 84 kids for soccer. We can, we can send out, before we even order the boxes, we can even send out I think um, the permission slips through the parents with the kids that's and see hefty. who's interested in doing it. And if they're interested, then we can. Yeah. And, and you're selling to the same yeah, people. But if we do them at the that's snack the shop, and, and we cut no. all of the other crap, but we're there for, we're opening it for for practices and we're just doing what the kids want which is you know the ice pop obviously that'll change but they want the candy can't we just get people to staff the snack shack this year and see I think we turn more of a profit I don't know we used to make huge profit in that when we would do the candy bars I, I would not start out with a box per child I think that's way too much in the small community yeah I was in a small community myself and that was what we did that was why I was I just I would hate to see us have to eat those chocolates <laughs> I'm serious <laughs> I know how hard it is to get rid of some boxes for Girl Scouts at the end after everyone's gone over and over and over and bought their Girl Scouts cookies and they're done and yeah they'll put a dollar in here and there but when the same kids are hit not the same people for yep. chocolate bar after chocolate bar after chocolate bar people are not going to want to buy those even for a dollar I, I think that, that can be a burden on some of yes, these it is. And if the kids are eating them and they're responsible it's I, I I just I don't I wouldn't start out that big I would start out bars small per box. Mm -hmm. then start with 10 candy bars per kid don't start with a whole box I, I just feel that that's 3,600 really candy bars yeah, I think I think it's asking too much it is I just I, I think that we don't we don't live in this, this is I don't know how to phrase it this is a very rural community I mean where are the hot spots someone could sit here and sell them you know when the town hall is open for something they can they can probably go iron tails is a really bad example but trading there's post. a lot of traffic there the Acton trading post and there's Willie's I mean where else could these kids kind of sit and sell them other than to their families where, right but where there's some high traffic areas it's not like we have yep. a little shopping it's not like back home I mean would Hannaford's you know, 
I come from a small town as well, and it was the yeah. same thing. I do too, Maybe but we had a place to jobs, set up our tables at the pharmacy. My parents always brought them to their jobs, and we would bring them. My kid can oh my gosh, so we went through boxes and boxes and boxes. I don't even keep them in my house. <laughs> okay, so, all right, so other than that, mums. Um, we're going, I want to do the fundraiser through the um, farm fields on 202 in Lebanon. They do the mums fundraiser. It's always a huge hit with everybody. That one would be, we would need 100 or more for free delivery, otherwise it's a $75 delivery because he would bring it right to us. Um, each mum would be $9.25 a piece, or you could get a pack of four for $34, bringing them down to eight fifty dollars a piece. Where are we selling them? Could we sell them on the corner right here? That's us, I'm, I'm just saying, we just need a place to put them. Where are we selling them? So we, what we do is we do word of mouth. They go online and order them. You order. Um. They order them, and then once they're all ordered, then we meet someplace, which we can meet right here. We tell everybody that they've got to be here between such and such time. Instead of us selling them. Yep. Instead of us selling them. That, and so when the truck gets here to drop them off, we help them unload. They all, people come here, pick them up, and then they take them home. And if they don't get here, what I would make them know, unless they contacted us ahead of time, if they don't get here by a certain time, thank you for your donation. Because yeah, we'll sell the rest of them because that, that would be exactly. So what we would do is if we, for each single that we would sell, we would get $4.75 profit. Now that's much better than the candy bar option. <laughs> yeah. for each and I four, can't do the numbers. For each four pack at $34, it's $4 each, so $16 profit that we would get. Can I, I know you're all about fundraising and that's great, but why you, it seems like we're focusing a lot through the rec on fundraising. This is the first group of fundraising that we're talking about. Well, we, we talked about doing the car show when we're talking about well, that's Kitty Buys and we're talking about... So the biggest thing that is on my docket is I want a playground. And I know I have a lot of others that want a playground. So the tiny tyke stuff that we have currently at the field are for residential use, not for long-term right. use like this. So the goal is to be able to fundraise heavy hitter and get that playground so that we can have it established. But no one knows that but us. Right. No, we've so said it. Just we feel to, like we're. We need to have a mission statement. We need to let people know who we are, what we're doing. And I know you've done some of that, but again, it's it's putting it. I'm sorry, TJ. It's putting it on the website. You know, you're gonna see. You know, all these little kids with their candy boxes. You know, we're desperate for X, Y, and Z. We want to make improvements. This is a capital investment. You know, yes, the town has a budget for the uniform and all the things that we're doing here, but we'd like to aim a little higher. I think people need to understand well, they, yeah. what we're doing. People have heard that because I've also brought it up at Selectman's meetings multiple times because they've asked what I, what we're fundraising for when I've had to come meet in regards to like the car show. Right, but there are like 15 people oh, I know, in but the gallery. More, more people actually watch it online than than you'd think a lot more do. Okay. So it has been announced that you know the fundraising but, point but is again, for... so let's let's come back to some of the things that that we should be focused on, a mission statement and what we're doing and why we're fundraising. Mm -hmm. right. I have a quick question, Lori. Do we have any land that's adjacent to the Acton Fairgrounds? That we own? Yeah. No. No. Okay. State wow. Are you talking about the stuff that trade across the street? Across the street from Iron Tails, the Acton Fairgrounds. Oh yeah. I was just thinking it's a great parking lot. If we were to build something, maybe it could be adjacent to that. Yeah. It already has what kind of a line or a community garden or something would be nice. That's, um, that's on you know, kind of a, a shared yeah, a shared parcel. I did. It's also like, kind of centrally located. I too. feel like we're oh, just a little bit kind of all over the place in some of the things that need like to get done, like getting sports um, rules and stuff and all that type of stuff done is more important. I feel is more important than I could type up raising more money. Every um, there's some. Website. There's a lot of things that are. I'd love to do that. Okay. But we we need to go ahead for the website as soon as that gets okayed. I'm I'm off and running. Okay. 
I'll leave that one with you. <coughs> um, I can put standardized rules for each sport on the website that'll hang off a page. Would it be a statement? Would rule, it be a rule for parents for as well? To ask Kim about that in a couple of days if she's made any progress, just so we can keep that on the front burner. I can. Okay. So the website she said she was going to bring it to. Her she's going to bring it on yeah, Wednesday. Yeah, but if we can just. Yeah, I can. I can ask her. Keep it in the the yep. forefront. So today's Thursday, so she won't have it until next Wednesday, so I can talk with her next Thursday because I'm also going to have to ask her what, what came of the storage because we have to figure out something for that the gym. Uh, my question going back to the moms, because yes, we're going to do the moms, would you guys be more interested in doing, um, so we, they need a delivery date. They had the two dates available. It's either September 23rd or September 24th. And what, what is How the question the to us? Needs? 925. 925. So the question is, is would anybody else be available on either one of those days? The 24th is a Saturday, so that's probably yeah. going to be a soccer game day. The 24th is a Saturday, not the 23rd? We're talking September? Is a Saturday. Yeah. Oh, so the 23rd to Friday? Yep. Yes. Yeah. Oh. I'll be around. Well, I'm just worried if we do it on a Friday. I'll be around as well. People will be working. Be People will be working. Right. Yep. It would have to be like a Friday evening. Saturday, I can. Do you have that one? Well, if we did a Saturday, Saturday. we can always do a Saturday at yeah, the field. That's fine. Yours. Okay, thank you. Rather than here. Yes. There you go. People can pick them up on Okay, there. so we can do Saturday. We can do the 24th. That's Saturday at the field. That makes sense. Yeah. Let's okay. Yeah. People are there anyways, oh, right? September? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Help with that. Yeah. I, I should be around. I don't think Katrina's going to be playing soccer, but... <laughs> It's still far enough away. Talk her into it, Lori. Huh? Talk her into it. Well, she's got a broken elbow. <laughs> arm. Her arm, sorry. Oh, she broke her arm. Are we Annabelle gonna, broke her elbow. If we have a big crowd for soccer, are we going to be able to accommodate everyone in the parking lot? So they're, the selectmen's goal is to have that parking lot done okay. by soccer. Okay. okay. So we're going to see where that so leads maybe. us. Okay. So there's the possibility. We could always maybe see about you do one it at the fairgrounds if not i mean well it's, we, we can do it here, here. but it's, it just comes down to soccer Delivery. where's everybody going to be everyone's gonna well be. if they're at soccer we could do it the times that soccer is going uh -huh. and have people come here you know i mean i don't mind if i'm not going to be at soccer i can hang out here and yeah, sell 99 well, percent of people if you're at soccer are going to yeah they're going to be going by here true. You know, okay. so, so we could, field if the and, field's and the not done, we could do it here. here. I think the table, can, can we just, can we think about how we're going to imp, mm -hmm. and I'm, this is just me, so. No, you're good. If we do it at the field, they're going to be on the ground, which I guess is fine, except we're going to run out of ground because we're going to have little kids and we're going to have balls and we're going to have cars. So if we did it here, even if we couldn't come inside, if, if the hall was being used for something else, we could just take these tables out and move them well, outside. Yeah, we the can. Moms? We can always the, basket, the moms. I would just put the moms on the ground. I, was, I just put the moms on the ground. We could use the storage if we needed to. If it was raining or something, we could do it right out of there. If this was being used, do what? Really? Do in the storage? If, no, we can't go in the gym. Why? Um, with how bad it smells, with all the mold in that, they want everything out. Huh? Yep. Oh. So we're working on getting a shed right now because oh. um, everything is being evicted out of there. Oh. Yep, they went in it today. Is the shed going to the field? Um, that's what I'm working on. Presumably. That's what I'm working on. Because um, I just found out about that tonight, right before coming into the meeting. <laughs> so, <laughs> time, but but me and going to be at the field. We always have the basketball courts we could put them on, too. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No one's going to be really, you know, we could just block that off in the basketball courts. Okay. I'll give them the date, and I just won't tell them the location yet until we can nail it down, because I do have to give them the date. Okay. So we'll do that. Um, do, 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 do. I think the only other thing that I wanted to... Is that on here? The time, Who is... The date? Is somebody really good at writing grants? No, me. Yeah, that, that's an art form. <laughs> <laughs> this policy? Come on. I've never anybody a grant. anybody never interested a grant? in grants? For what? So, 24th? This Little Tykes has a whole list. I have never written a grant in my life. <laughs> I will be honest about that. So Little Tykes has a variety of places that we can reach out to um, for grants and whatnot to help with basically purchasing for a playground. So whatever we can offset to not have to pay out of pocket when we finally land it. Oh. A playground or a Little Tykes? Little Tykes whole playground set. 
playground set. So like like a playground, like if you go to Sanford and you go into the schools or Shapley Elementary School or at more of an industrial yes. playground. Okay. Yes, it's an a full on industrial, not like a backyard one. Oh, this is a commercial a use. Thinking a little tight. No, 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 no. Because there, it's a little tight's commercial. They're the ones that actually told me those are residential, and I said I, I know. So if somebody has any interest in maybe looking. Facebook uh, she, website. This is this is what we need. We need some. A lot of retired people here would be. Oh, I wonder if I'm happy to do something like I that. Yeah. Somebody about Conrad. Yeah, uh, Three Rivers. Conrad. Used to write grants. Right, grant. I could look at. Uh, I, actually, I have an idea for something. What about um, the school when we did our the playground at the school was pennies um, for the playground and that whole playground at Acton Elementary um, was funded by pennies for the playground. Can we incorporate pennies something like that into um, even if you have the snack shack um, have a thing, pennies for the playground. What the is school was, the whole entire playground Can you was send that to me? This? The kids. Yep. We just came from um, a town that used um, Oh, the tax on your property, like that 0.001%, the CPA, Community Preservation Funds for a Playground. And it was pretty nice, but you're looking at something, you know, between 45 and $75,000. But I mean, I'm saying that that could help. No, no, absolutely. But just, you know, to, to throw a price tag out there so everyone has an understanding, you know, it's yeah. it's pretty costly. Yeah. But we have the we have the grounds, you know, we have mm -hmm. the space for it. So it's not like we're, we're starting from scratch, right. Right. you know, and things need to be up to code and ADA compliant. Yeah. So, so, yeah, and going through Don't little do. tykes, little tykes would make sure that it's everything that we need to do. It'll be everything that they include with their pricing because they do give discounts to nonprofit organizations. They do um, also do all of the installation. I told them that I wanted to, when we do it, I want to have a fence that goes all the way around it, um, preferably with a gate in the front, so we don't have to worry about somebody trying to go into it with their off their vehicle of any sort and trashing the area, or so that a parent can actually let their kid go in there and not be right on top of them 24/7 while they're playing. Mm -hmm. We want to have a spot on the side of it that is more geared towards the littles, and then being able to go to a little bit older kids, so that it kind of hits everybody. If we're doing it, we might as well do it once. How is Shapley financing theirs? Do you know? Fundraising. You remember that? Fundraising. Yeah, I do. And I was looking at the movie nights and that, like what Shapley was doing, but it's like $300 per movie Yeah. in order to get um, the backing that you need. Oh my God, I want to be outside and watch this thunderstorm so bad. Okay. You're about to be. <laughs> so that was, so there's that. Um, Easter egg, um, this goes back to Easter. I was talking again with Paul and he has interest that maybe we can do an Easter egg hunt over at Barn Light and again incorporate it where, it, and it would be on a Saturday of Easter weekend, not Sunday, so it wouldn't mess around with anybody's actual Easter plans um, and maybe incorporate like a set pricing point or whatnot so that they can do a buffet meal, like a breakfast type deal as well. Like they could have like scrambled eggs or whatever. I'm not sure what he would do. Um, so that is kind of up in the air that I've talked with him about. Um, shed, I want to finish organizing the shed, we, if we can schedule a time to be able to do that. Yeah, schedule a day, I'll get some gloves on and go out and get to work. For the shed. I don't know, we have to, we have to work out the, de the details. Get the snake out of there first. If it's so newly fresh There's that it's... Snake? Yeah. I'll go pull out the snake. There's a snake in there? Yeah. I'm going to go play with him. We got Chris on the job. Let's go play with him. It? It's a rat snake. Um, oh my god, I want to go. It was a disgusting color. That's the oh color. Oh my god. <laughs> sure, was it a water snake? Could be a black or black belly. Or brown. There's Red no belly? poisonous one, so I'm good. Hold on, I'll pull it a little bit. They just, right have, they that just have bacterial melts. We learned that here from Mr. Drew. <laughs> <laughs> There's actually another one that was at um, Shackley Field Days that I want to see if we can get to come. I love Mr. Drew. But, okay, so the grants we talked about, Easter, um, TJ will touch what base about again the next Friday. for soccer? I mean, you got to order them? Is that what you mean? I was like, we got to go through them and see what we have. No, Mark, those are the ones that we're all missing. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Yeah, that is, she had uh, that. Okay. That's, we had $2,000 in the budget for uniforms for soccer. Okay. 
So I will have to go through and see what we have. Hopefully we'll get some registrations and then I can. We bought all of the land uniforms and COVID hit and the person that was, they just disappeared. <laughs> Most of them disappeared. I tracked some down. Hmm. Oh. Yeah. Um, I also want to get over, I want to finish clearing out for the garden in the front, if we can do a day with that. Um, so we're out the next two weeks. Yes, you guys are. So nope. we won't be back until the week of the 8th. Okay. No, 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 no sorry, the stuff. following week. What, what is that? The August 8th or Wednesdays? Not the 8th. The, the following week, someplace good. Poconos. Nice. Ooh, fun. Yeah, I mean, we're really, we're really spotty during August. Yep. The week of the 15th is when we'll be back. Okay. Just so, just so you know, we'd like to help with like the shed and stuff. So, yep. if you have to do it without us, we won't be heartbroken. <laughs> no, we'll have fun with the snake. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to. We will have to figure out. I, I do have to get the stuff out of this shed as, or this old gym as soon as possible. I'm just waiting to find out where we can put them. Um. And then we're kind of go from there's there. There's a lot of stuff that can there's, just be well, that's, that's the thing is we've got to go through and we've got to figure out everything that's in there and what we don't need and what we can just I can get rid of. Yeah, I know. I mean, okay. most of the stuff that's there we've already gone through. Perfect. So we can do that. Um, you know, someone was um, and mentioned then, the. I don't know if anyone would <gasps> ever be interested or yeah. not, but no the matter. old uniforms that are in there I mean the uniforms we were using when Katrina started were the same uniforms that my older kids used that are still in that shed someone had said whoa maybe we should sell those to people no they want them oh my god okay. All right. <laughs> that, that were their numbers when they were kids I was like I would really want them but I don't know if Instead of just throw them in the pile, if you wanna, I would rather just throw them away. Offer, okay. If if we it don't need them, it's all attention. old. They've been sitting out. They're old. Really yeah, they're old. The list is thirty. I'd rather just discard what we don't need and start with what Especially we have, what we need, um, and mildew and mold. It's, I mean, they're gonna be moth ridden. They're, they're not. Just, mild, they're not actually. Uh, I'm gonna take them home to wash them. I did. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, and then do 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 do. We do have one person, um, Lori Beth Fowler. Uh, she does Little Farm Bakery. She is interested. I've been chatting with her a little bit about trying to do a cookie decorating class. I don't know if it's going to be a single class or if it would be um, maybe a series of class where if she does a series, it might be you know the the twenty dollars or whatever to participate to be able to buy all of the ingredients. I told her to let me know what she would like to do. It would most likely be this fall or sometime over the winter when she slows down. So that is there. Um, Want to finish with the garden? You had mentioned the community garden. Mm -hmm. That is on the five-year plan. Okay. I want to have a big community garden. And I wanted to touch base and I wanted to go over with everybody about what we were looking, what everybody was kind of thinking at the same time for a five-year plan, but tonight's not the night for that. <laughs> so next meetings, I wanted to kind of touch base, see what you guys had in mind. I want to see if we can schedule out a few of them, um, if we can get some dates. So August is the 7th, the 14th, and the 21st are the availabilities. You guys aren't back until the 15th. So is everybody around for August 21st? I don't most people around for the 21st. Yep. What were the other options? Uh, it's the 7th and the 14th. Jen and TJ are gone. 14th. We can't do the 7th or the 14th. No. Can you do 9 a.m. on the 21st? 21 and 28. Uh, uh, 28, they can't. They have something else going on what here. Day, uh, on a Saturday? Sunday. Oh, that's a Sunday. <clears throat> Another Sunday morning? 21st. Can we do it? Yeah. What's... If we can do it early on the 21st, we can do it. I was going to say like nine anyways, if that works. I don't know. I'd have to check the schedule. If that works with you guys? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're fine. I know Crystal would be going for that one as long as she's not away. Because I know we, we kept trying for a weekend to make it easier so that it wasn't going to be late at night and and it just kept getting pushed back and pushed back <laughs> so they have the 7th the 14th and the 21st so be leaning towards the 21st if that works with you guys um, 
I can always schedule it, and then if you yeah, guys have something come up. If it turns out we can't make it, then that's fine. Okay, 9 a.m. September 4th, 18th, or 25th. If we're doing, oh yeah, it wouldn't matter, because the 25th could be the day after the mums, too. 4th, 18th, or 25th. So we're looking at every sun, all meetings on Sunday mornings? And why is that? Because it's easier than doing it late at night every week. Scheduling, I think this room is partly the issue, right? It's There's a lot going on here every day, pretty yeah. much in the evenings. But it also makes it easier for some. Sunday's not easy for me. Bring her with you. Like, no way. I'll set you up on Zoom. Put your face right there. <laughs> right. I think we gotta go. All right, I'm six, September what? Fourth, eighteenth, and twenty fifth. We're good for anything September. So I'm fine for whatever. And then we'll just leave it at that one and then we can look at the other dates later. Why don't we do the 25th because we have the nutrition program on the 17th. Okay. Then that doesn't take up everyone's weekend. Perfect. Oh, Jordan's surgery will be, but it won't be a Sunday. So. <laughs> well, no, I mean, <laughs> I hope not. At least, obviously, <laughs> things may come up, and that would certainly what be was the a good excuse. Um, she apparently we have a genetic disorder where our kneecap doesn't sit in the V, so it just sits like this. So when she went over, it she shredded the cartilage underneath her kneecap. And are we done? Yep. Head. Tell her. Okay. All right. So we are wrapping it up. We are looking at no. trying to schedule August 21st at 9 a.m. We will let make sure that that she date works out for everybody. Spirit, no, I saw it. Okay. That's not a good one. Thank okay. you, Virginia.